Hello everyone. I created this project management template in Google Sheets. It was designed to merge the project details into one spreadsheet, which will help define the project data easier, faster, and more efficiently. In the left corner, I have included menu buttons such as Dashboard, Projects, Tasks, To Do, Meetings, Contacts, Timesheet, Leave Requests, and Settings. The top main areas are scorecard charts that count the number of total projects, total tasks, total to-dos, total meetings, total contacts, and total timesheets. Below I have included donut charts to view users who are involved in tasks and the overall task percentage finished for each user. At the bottom, I have included the table chart pulling details from the project list. By clicking on the project button, it will redirect to the project sheet. In the top right corner, there are buttons such as Create Charter, which will create automatically a document file project charter. The second top button is the Open Project List. And below it, the button Add New Project, which will add a new project. At the left main area, there is the drop down menu where you can choose the client, and the below table will filter all the projects for that. Client. At the beginning of each row are checkboxes. And by clicking the checkboxes, it will redirect to the project details sheet. To record one project, we need first to record the client. At the top right corner, there is a button to open the recorded contact list. Below is the button that will pop up the form to record the new client. And in the left area is the drop down menu that will filter all the clients by type, and clients will appear in the below table. Let's record a new client. Let's say that we have added a new client. According to the category, the client will appear. In our case, it's a sales business type. By clicking it will filter all the clients below. Now that we have recorded our first client, let's return to the projects to add a new project for this client. Before we add a new project, we can create a file document project charter to initiate the request for the project. By clicking Create Character, it will create and open the file document in Google Drive and it will update automatically while updating. Let's say we have updated all the project charter. I will rename it. I will copy the URL link and close the document. Click on the button to add a new project. It will open the pop-up form to fill in the details of the project. Paste the copied URL and fill in other details of the form. You will notice our first client that we have just registered. To filter the projects, Select the drop-down menu. Projects will appear in the table below. Let's create another project. First, I will click on the Create Charter button to generate a second project charter. Copy and paste the URL path and close the document. Open the pop-up form and paste the copied URL. Fill out other details of the second project. At the beginning of the row, there is the checkbox. Click on it and it will redirect to the project details page. The main part includes the details of the project. The right corner is the file icon that will open the project charter, where you can also open it directly and update it if necessary.
In the top left corner, there is a small red arrow button that will return to the project list sheet. At the bottom is the area where you can record tasks inside the specific project. This can be done by clicking on the green right button to add a new task. By clicking it will open the pop-up form to fill in the task details. Let's create some other tasks. We have added three tasks to this project. At the beginning of each task row, some checkboxes will redirect to the task details sheet. Also, tasks can be viewed in the tasks button at the left part of the menu. Click on the red arrow button to return to the main project sheet. Click on the task button to redirect to the task sheet. In the top right area, there is a button to open all the recorded task lists. Below is the Gantt chart view which will redirect to the Gantt chart sheet. Left area are dependent drop-down menus. The first drop-down menu will list all the clients. And when you choose the client it will give the projects according to that client and the ID of the project. Below it will give all the tasks that are recorded for that specific client and project. To update the progress of the tasks, click on button open task list and you can update the percentage of the tasks finished. Small blue buttons at the end will close this sheet and redirect to the task sheet. You will see that the task progress has been updated and also the overall average project has been updated automatically. Now click on the Gantt chart button. It will open another screen to view tasks in the Gantt chart. The red cells identify the actual date. You can change also the weeks in the drop-down menu, which will update the chart automatically. In the beginning, some checkboxes will open the pop-up screen if you want to view all the details of the project and task. The red arrow button will redirect to the task sheet. Let's return now to the projects. Click on the project button. It will redirect to the project sheet. I will now add one task to the second project. Select the checkbox, it will redirect to the project details. Then click on the button to add a new task. Now if we return to the task sheet, previously we had one project, but now we have two projects. This is because we update the task, and it will automatically appear in the list and the task will appear in the table below. Let's return now to the first project and fill out the task details. Choose the task that we want to update. It will redirect to the task details sheet. Top part you have a task percentage bar. In the main area are details of the task. And below are to-do lists, meeting lists, timesheets, and request lists. At the top of each list, there are small blue buttons that will redirect to the complete list sheet. Nearby are the buttons to add a new to-do list, timesheet, 
request, and meeting. Let's record some to do because it's simplest. The blue button will redirect the to do list to update the priority and status, and also a checkbox to identify the to do list as done. To add new meetings, timesheets, and requests with the document file. At the top of the sheet I have included buttons that will create template forms such as minutes of meetings, timesheet forms, and leave request forms. You can also directly add new minutes of meetings without a document. Let's create two minutes of meeting without the document and with the document to see the difference. Fill out the details of the form and save it. It will record new meetings in the row. If you want to link the document file with the meeting, click on the top button to create a meeting. It will generate and open the minutes of the meeting document that can be updated automatically. Copy the URL path and paste it into the file URL input field. Fill out the other details and save it. It will automatically add an icon that will redirect to that document. You can add up to 10 rows for each task. The same process is to add a new timesheet. Click on the top button Create Timesheet. It will open the template to update. Copy the URL path and close the template. Paste the URL path into the pop-up form. Update other details of the timesheet pop-up form and save the record. Then if we want to record a new request, click on Create Request, Update the Request, and copy the URL path. Paste the URL path into the pop-up form, and fill out other details. Add a new row. Done. The red arrow button will return to tasks and projects. Let's say that during the time one task has been completed, and we need to update the task. Click on the button Open Task List, and update the progress of the task. Return to the task list. Task will be updated automatically and also project percentage will be updated. The button to do will redirect to the to-do list view, where you can filter all the to-do lists according to the status, and the list will appear in the below table, finished or unfinished. The meeting menu has the same structure as the to-do. In the drop-down menu, 
you can select the client. And below will filter all the meeting details that you and your team have attended into the meeting with the client. Timesheets also have the same structure. You can select the team email and it will give all the timesheet works done by the selected user. Leave requests also include the drop-down users by email to filter below all the requests that the user had made during the projects. The settings button includes lists that appear in the pop-up forms. You can update according to your company's needs. The dashboard sheet automatically updates the details that we have recorded, such as total projects, total tasks, total to-do, total meetings, total contacts, and total timesheet. Donut charts have been updated. The left chart gives the users who are involved in tasks and the right chart includes the percentage of the users involved in tasks. At the bottom also the project list table has been updated. So this is it. I hope you like it, and if you have any questions or any suggestions let me know in the comment below.